Hello everybody, I'm Nerdak, and welcome back to another episode here in the Survival Let's Play series. And as you can see, if you've checked up the last episode, we are where we are going to be starting our brand new project, which is going to be taking a little bit of a break from the city and the cathedral, as those are two massive projects. And I want to get building and do a lot of adventuring and stuff and exploring the new 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update. So we're going to be starting a new custom village that we're going to be making sure to use plenty of the new blocks from the 1.17 update to make some spectacular looking houses and it's all going to accumulate in the end to one awesome looking fishing village with an extra special project at the end and it's going to be a first for not only me but this world and it's going to be super exciting and I can't wait to get to it and show you so make sure you're subscribed and let's get straight into the building shall we so I really want to have the center of this little village town here, near where these clump of trees are. So I'm going to clear out some land, and then we can lay down the foundations for our very first house. So I've cleared out some land, and now it is time to put the foundations down for our very first house. So we're going to be using a mixture of cobblestone, stone bricks, and tuff for the base of this house. And we're going to keep a nice, simple, and we're going to do a 7 by 13. So we're going to do 7 deep. But the question is, why do I actually want to... I think we want to leave a little bit of space behind it. So let's start here. So one, two, three, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And then we want to go 13 across this way. 13. We have to do a little bit of terraforming around the back here, but that's not going to be a problem. Whoops, daisies. Added an extra block to the end here. We want it to be 13 long. And that leaves a three wide gap for each of the doors here at the front. So now I'm just going to. Build all of this up, and we're going to go up five high in total. So we need to go up another four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to build up all around here, and then we're going to texture it all up. And on the fourth block up, so one, two, three, four, we're going to add a little archway. So we're going to do this for all of the three archways at the front, and we're going to just texture up the whole of the build. So I'm going to do this real quick. And now that we have the foundations in place with all the nice texturing, it's time to get to the true meat and potatoes of this house. So we're just going to go along like so, alternating between stairs and slabs to have a nice little like edge as it's going to stick out slightly overhanging the front of the build. We're then going to scaffold our way up here as we are going to add some dark oak. I seem to have forgotten my axe. <laughs> right, take two. So we're going to pillar up about four blocks with d stripped dark oak logs. I'm going to do this on the edge there in the middle above this archway here and the same again at this very end and as we've done on the other side we're going to run a line of stripped dark oak logs along the top here and then we're going to copy the exact same thing we've done on the front here on the back something a bit like that and now we're going to fill in all these gaps in the walls with a mixture of diorite calcite and white concrete powder um, we seem to have gathered a gang of creepers around our building site, um, which is not exactly ideal, so we're going to have to take care of these guys before we can carry on. So yeah, we've got the, uh, the walls in and everything now, but now we need to focus on the roof as not a very good house if it doesn't have a roof. So let's get the frame of the roof in, and then we can work out the actual shape of the roof itself after that. I could hear a load of mobs coming from underneath, and then I found these caves, and I found an axolotl. Yes, there you go, there you go, come to me. No. Yes. We've got another axolotl. Yes. Come on. Let's get out of here, because I can't swim for that long. There's another one. I need another bucket. I need another bucket. There's another one. They're all here. They're spawning underneath us. Yes, come on. Come here. Yes, so we're getting a collection of axolotls, and they are so cute. We're going to have to make a little home for them, I think, somewhere in the village here. But, oh my gosh, that's amazing. We've basically got, like, a little spawner for axolotls. So cute. So, yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. But now time to get in the roof. And for the roof, we are going to be using Deep Slate, which I'm super excited to build with as it looks awesome. So we're going to be using Deep Slate bricks for the roof. So make a bunch of bricks, and then I think I'm going to make uh, a bunch of the stairs, and a bunch of 
Uh, yeah, a bunch of the slabs as well. I made more stairs. It makes such a satisfying sound when placing it down. Oh, I really like this new block. Now, we're going to be kind of adding a, a little bit of a uh, curve to the roof. So it's not everything is going to be perfectly straight across like you would expect. So it's going to be have a little bit of a dip down towards the middle here, which will look pretty cool when we're done. So it should look something a little bit like that. However, for this side, we are going to be adding a, another window in the roof, as we don't want the roof to be too plain and simple. So we're just going to be adding a row of logs across like this. Then we're going to be bringing them up by too high, like so. Then we're going to add like a couple of slabs and stuff and some extra details to make this look super nice. Adding another one of these fancy point bits on the top. Then adding a little bit of a curve here. Yeah. Then we're going to put in a load of the detail stuff using like signs and trapdoors, etc. A little fence gate in here that's opened. And then adding a bit of the wall behind. Make sure to place in a lovely looking window. Then we're just going to fill in the rest of the roof around it. Something like that. Now we're just going to build the roof on the other side and then we're going to add in a bunch of detailing. Yeah, so this is looking pretty sweet, but we do want to add some greenery to it, as greenery makes everything look better. But for that, I definitely want to get some of the azalea leaves. So for that, we're going to have to take our precious moss block, wherever I put it. There we go. And then we're going to have to get some bone meal. Um, we're just going to have to temporarily uh, ruin a little bit of the terrain here. And if we bone meal it, it should spread like this, and we can get ourselves some azalea bushes and if we take this and put it over here and grow it we get an azalea tree and we're definitely going to be harvesting all of these leaves as these leaves look awesome but that's a really oddly shaped tree that is really peculiar but yeah i love the leaves and we're going to be using plenty of these in the new builds and the very last one and there we go of course we still need to do the interior and like the terraforming around the build but oh and then he's added chimney but apart from that, the house is done and it's looking pretty sweet. Added a little like undercover area here for like storage and a door to access the side of the house as well. Yeah, this is looking really good and I'm really happy with this. But one house certainly doesn't make up a village. So let's get straight into building the next one, which is going to be situated just over here. And let's do it in the form of a third person time lapse. And there we have it. There's both of the houses built up. Uh, I still need to add chimneys though, but I'll do that afterwards. Okay, so for this house, it's looking pretty sweet. We've got a mixture of the cobble deep slate and the normal deep slate on the bottom here. And then the top, we've gone for a mixture of granite, bricks, and polished granite, which is a pretty classic texture there mix. But then we've added into it some of the new roots block, which looks really, really nice. And it wouldn't think like it would go, but it does actually work really well, even though it's like a dirt block and not actually like a uh, stone. And yeah, it looks really good. And we've done like dark oak and yet again, the deep slate bricks for the roof. And I've left a little spot up there and we're going to add something special to the top. And I need to make it and I'm not actually too sure how to make it. So let's have a look at light. Do I have the recipe for it? I do not. How do we make a lightning rod? 
Okay, turns out we're going to have to smelt some copper first and <laughs> to get the recipe. So if I find my little stash of copper over here, and we're going to need to get ourselves a furnace going, because we don't have one over here. Let's smelt up some copper. And perfect, with three of these, we can now make a lightning rod. So if we just... Ah, there we go. So if we just put these in like so, we get ourselves a lightning rod. And if we fly up to the top of the house here, we can place it prime position. We're going to have a little little spiky tower thing right on the top here, which looks absolutely awesome. But yeah, we need to add chimneys to this place, but also we need to take a look at this with some shaders. And yeah, we also need to actually do the interiors and make the area terraformed and actually start looking like builds that are put together rather than just building, building. Done a little bit of that over here already with this little like garden shed, which I need to add a door and stuff to. But yeah, we've got a little bit of work to do over here still. But yeah, this is looking pretty sweet so far and I'm super excited to see how this place is going to grow. Yes, that's looking really nice filling up the area so far. And we're going to have quite a few more houses for all the different villages over here. And we actually need to get some villages over here in the first place as well. But they drive me mental, so I'm not going to do that until we're a bit further on with the project. Just going to add the door into this to make it a little bit more proper. Get rid of the scaffolding there. But yeah, we also, we're going to be naming our very first axolotl that we caught in the last episode. Thanks to the suggestion by Sloffy Pearl down in the comments, we're going to name it Mossy. As it kind of, once we found it, then we finally had some luck finding the famous moss block. So we're going to name it Mossy. Our very first axolotl, Mossy. Ain't you just adorable? Wait, I'm going to keep you in a bucket. Well, you're so cute. <laughs> also, guys, we have a monthly build competition running in the Discord. So if you haven't joined the Discord and you want to take part in the uh, build competition, make sure to check the link down in the description to join the Discord. We've got an awesome community and why not take part in the build competition? Super fun and see you there. Just a quick addition, it runs the beginning of every month for a couple of weeks and then we judge it and new one starts again on the next month. Yeah, it's super fun. Join it, check it out. Right, so yeah, I think it's time to get some paths in here. I think I want to have a little bit of a like open area here, potentially with a pond. And there's going to be like the dock areas along the front here. So then I'm going to have some buildings here. And then we're going to probably have this bit as like a little bit of a center, little center square with a little bit of a pond, I think, which will look pretty sweet. But we probably need some paths so people can actually walk around the village. They're pretty crucial. And they look nice as well. So for the paths, I'm going to go for a trusty mix, which is probably my favorite like path design, is a mixture of course dirt, especially for like rural like areas. Gonna be a mixture of coarse dirt, and we're just gonna dot in a couple of blocks of concrete powder, and it looks super sweet, and it's super easy to do, and yeah, it just we're gonna do this all around the area, but uh, probably potentially where it is a little bit more built up, the docks where we're gonna need a bit more structure to it. We might have like more of a stone path, but we'll see when we get to that bit. That'll be in a future episode. Well, the path has certainly tied things together, but I think to truly spruce this place up, we're definitely going to have to build a pond here. But as always, we've got to take a look at this place with shaders, and my gosh, does it look nice with the shaders. Shaders just make everything look better. You can have a literally have a dirt hut, put shaders on, looks 10 out of 10. But even still, I think I'm really happy with how these buildings have turned out, especially with incorporating the new blocks and the textures and stuff. It just looks so, like, Minecrafty and, like... It just works so well. They they fit in with like all the um the previous stuff that was in the game, so it looks super good. And I'm so like happy with how the uh, the roots block turned out in the brick and granite. I think that has really surprised me how well that is. And you should definitely try that yourselves if you want to texture your granite. Bit of a pain to uh, harvest though, compared to like the other some of the other blocks. Like deep slate's much easier to grab, and calcite's a little bit of a pain, but you can insta mine it and stuff. Tuff's a little bit harder to find, but yeah, they're all really like reasonable resources and plenty of mining and stuff. You're going to get loads of them and plenty of like farming, like azalea trees and stuff. But yeah, these look super, super cool. Can I have a quick look at the, the tree around here? I'm not too sure about this custom tree, but I think it'll stay. It's a little bit thin, but we can, we'll, we'll live with it. We'll probably build a few of these around the village with the azalea leaves and stuff, but they hopefully look a little bit better. And then we've got this bit around here with the azalea bushes and stuff. I'm pretty sure they won't grow into an azalea tree by themselves. But if I suddenly find some trees just dotted around these builds, 
Um, I know why. <laughs> but yeah, so this is looking pretty sweet. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm going to leave it here. I'm super excited how this project started off, and I can't wait for the next one. We'll be building more houses and truly getting this place to feel alive and probably building the pond as well, which is going to look super awesome. We're just going to tie everything together, and yeah, this project's going to be awesome. Make sure you subscribe to catch any new episodes uh, for the project and any of the videos that come out. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!